Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Vlogist. It's Saturday so I took advantage of Saturday and just slept in and had a really good night's sleep and now I'm out running some errands. Because I slept so late all I had was a cup of coffee for breakfast and I don't really recommend skipping breakfast. I don't like to do it that often either because I need the fuel for the day but I kind of just slept through it. <laughs> so just go with it. The next meal will be lunch. Um, but first I'm going to run my errands and tonight for dinner I think we bought some fresh pasta and sometimes I like to make a pasta just out of, I don't know, just whatever we have in the refrigerator. So we're going to add some vegetables to it and just let the vegetables be the natural juices instead of weighing it down with like heavy sauces and things like that. So I have no idea what it's going to turn out to look like, but I'm sure it will be delicious. So come along for the day. a minimalist food day I'm trying to keep it really simple because I've been making some complex dishes and one of my favorite things to do in the summertime for lunch is to make a tomato sandwich it's very simple New Jersey has really beautiful tomatoes especially late summer like this and sometimes I just like to take a small roll and to put some Dijon mustard on it and a tomato and that's all I need trivia question for you. What is this line from? It is a very plum plum. Can you guess? We have some asparagus tips, some grape tomatoes that we're cutting in half, a little chocolate disposable. We have some diced pancetta and we have this fresh pasta. so good. We poured a little olive oil and salt onto the asparagus and cherry tomatoes. We're going to toss them around in this olive oil for a little bit and put them in the broiler. Into the broiler just for a minute. First, we're cooking up some pancetta in a frying pan. We have some water on to boil. That's what you hear crackling because the pot is sweating. And then we're going to remove the pancetta after it's cooked and saute some fennel. We've removed the pancetta from the pan now that it's cooked. And we poured out the excess grease and then we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. We're going to put a lid on it and cook this down a little bit and afterwards we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. watching. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. I like to call those kind of pastas one-off pastas or pasta from nothing because I just take inspiration from whatever I happen to have on hand. And in this case we had some fennel, we had some grape tomatoes and some asparagus and it gave everything a really nice fresh taste. If you want to be meatless you don't have to use the pancetta. Perhaps you can substitute something else or um, if you think it's not um, flavorful enough or juicy enough you can always add a little splash of vegetable broth or something like that if you don't want to use the wine um, but just try to experiment it's really fun 
Now, inevitably, when I make a pasta dish and I show the recipe, people always say, but you're on a diet, what are you doing eating carbs? And I just wanna stress that the Mediterranean diet is not really a diet where you're depriving yourself of anything and carbs are not bad for you. The Mediterranean diet is a way of life and it's all about fresh ingredients and eating in moderation. So yes, you can eat carbs, just eat them in moderation and make sure they're not highly processed carbs. This was fresh pasta, it wasn't a lot of it. I didn't eat a lot of other things today, so I felt like I saved room up for it. And you can bet that people in Italy do not deprive themselves of their pasta. So if you have any questions about how to make a pasta dish like that, just let me know in the comment section below. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.